<laughs> okay, so let me start again. To so open PHP my admin, you go to your control panel and press admin. It's open. Or you go to localhost or localhost last dashboard and press PHP my admin here. To create a new database, and I've said um, your database is like an Excel sheet. It has different sheets. And inside the sheets, you have different columns and rows. Now, um, I have lots of database here, not really lots. Um, so let's do sub PHP. To SQL tutorial. Okay, see, I've created it before, so it's tell me you can't create database. So if you have already created that, it should go ahead and add your um, your database here. Now, all this you can actually do use PHP to do this. But well, some guys came together and said, um, yeah. Instead, you can use and you can use something like this. Uh, there's uh, my SQL workbench. The same thing with this. So now I want to create a table. The, the name of our table is contact form, right? Contact form. We can just name it form. You name your table what they do using using um, the different naming convention I stated earlier. Um, so contact form. So our table is going to have five. We have five fields, right? Sorry, four fields. We have four fields in our. We have four fields, right? Yeah. Yes or no? So, but our table will have five, and I'll show you why it's going to be five. Ah, sorry. Welcome to reality. Now, the first goal, yes, the first um, table, sorry, the first column is going to be an ID column. Now, ID must be a unique field, just like your matric number. Do you have anybody with the same matric number here? That means your matric number is unique. So, you can have multiple unique fields, but it's a good practice to always create an ID table first. So, ID, your ID is an integer because you want it to be an integer. As it means it's going to be a text. You use text or varchar. I will explain the different data types here. The major one you are going to be using. So, you can put your length. Now, this length is not okay. Like now, I said full name. Full name has how many characters in it? It now now means the ID column can accept a character length of two hundred and fifty-five. I don't know what, how many zillion or trillion that that is. Now means your your column or your table. Sorry, uh, your table can accept multiple and large amounts of data so by default what will be your default value that's what this is saying do you want to put one as a default value that means when anybody is inserting your, into your table the id is by default that value so i'm going to put none now you leave all this space this correlation none none i know any um, you leave all these collation values and the attributes. So now, you have this null, this part, where you have null. If you check it, that means your ID is going to be null. That means somebody can put a null value inside the ID. When you use not to null, that means that field is required. So, our ID is supposed to be required, because your matric number is required, right? So, 
Now, I will want but automatically generate ID for every user, just like you guys were generated matric number from the system. So we want auto increments. This AI stands for auto increments. By automatically, it increases the ID on every instruction. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Now, so when you put it on um, auto increment, it adds this index for you, primary key. Ah, another topic entirely. Okay, primary key is like a pointer key. So now, let's say this is, like I said, is a table. Now, to point to this cell I have uh, focused on, the primary key is G1. You can point to it. Bring, you see the ID when I'm working with it. Bring the values of this, where primary key is equal to G1. Now, also our fields, um, so let me just do that first. Name. I normally create my, my table name first. Email, phone. Any, com any naming convention you want. Your HTML? No. But, like I said, good practice. Always make it the same thing. Now, there's something, there something they call keywords. These are like words that you do not just use anyhow. Now, name is a key, keyword in SQL. So, if I'm trying to bring out the name table, SQL is not saying that, okay, there's a, there's a column name, called named. What is actually saying? What is actually saying? Another thing. So you don't use keywords in your column. So assignment. Look for the different. My assignment. You don't need to submit it. Only when I want like this assignment. You don't need to submit it. It's just to read. Uh, because if you don't know these keywords, you have problem. There's like I think it's in the slide. I'm not sure. So if it's not in the slide, it's an assignment. If it's in the slide, discard it. So there are some keywords like yeah, where there's where there's all there's not. All those keywords you don't use it to name your columns. Full name. So we have a message. Are we good to go? No. Yeah, I changed the name because name is a keyword. Yeah, I want to change the data type. Now, like I said, name is a keyword in SQL, so that's why I'm more using name as this column. So now we have different stores. We have integer, we have virtual, we have text, we have dates, we have numeric. There are lots of data type. But the one you use mostly is integer, virtual, text, dates. And some of this integer, um, numeric data type. Integer is, like I said, numbers. Vacha is a variable character. So you can, is basically the same thing with text. Just that text can contain larger amount of characters. So let me use a Vacha and I use 255. The same thing here, Vacha 255. And I can do here level. Okay. Level. Make it a watcher. And a message. No, message. Like I said, some people want to put. So if you use an integer, it's remove the first zero. 
So I can't decide to um let me see if I can make okay. I can decide to make email not null. Null. That means you can accept no characters. That's you can accept white space. I've seen people that will not answer that question. <laughs> I think it has a limit. Though. It has a limit, but I don't know the limit. The limit is very high. So even you as a human being, you don't see why you would type about one million words because you want to contact somebody. Even you yourself, will you read it? So, but text the um, the maximum length is very high. So now, by default, this generates our SQL. I've not saved. Preview SQL. So we don't need to bother to write SQL codes. This generates the SQL code using your normal keyboards, your keyboard stroke. So, so save. When I save, it will create my table for me. So now you see this contact form. We see our structure, we have ID and this key. We have phone name and other things. So I want to remove the validation from our um, from our PHP, that's the email validation. So that you can see that email accepts no value. Now you know we have PHP server, we have SQL server. There's something I want to do now. Now I want to connect the PHP server and connect the SQL server so that they can talk to one another. Are you getting it? I'm trying to create a pipeline from the PHP server to the SQL server. Okay, so um Hold on a little bit. Okay. So now the the mostly you you see it as um, config.php. Mostly, you can name it anything you want. You can name it database connector. You can name it um, database pipeline. Or you can name it SQL pipe. But I like naming it. And most people have seen it. it's always config. This is just a normal PHP file. Um, I don't want to type everything from scratch. Ouch. I can't do this. Ah, this. There's nothing here. Okay, now this is, you know, what is this? No, 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 forget. What is this? Yeah. Now I'm going to store something. Now by default, your your server name is localhost. Your username is root. That is when you are dealing with uh, your local server. But it can vary depend on the hosting I'll still do how to host that is how to upload your website to a live server let's say I've designed everything like I'm, maybe I'll do this with this project I'll upload it so that people can use your phone and just check oh this is what we did in class um, 
Now, this is table name. What oh, is oh, our table name? SAP SAP PHP SQL Tutorial. No. We must specify the table database name. It's not connected. In fact, what I did is I will explain everything up. Tutorial. So now these are just normal variables, right? Yes or no? These four lines are just normal variables. But they contain the details to my local server. Now there was a video I was watching few back a uh, few days ago or no few months ago about security. Now as a developer is your is your job to secure your client database, to secure your um your user data. Now you were saying never run anything on roots. Root. That means this username should never be root. It gives you something else. Why? Me as a bad aka or a um, red hat aka or black hat. Because normally, by default, you already put your username as root. I can just come maybe connect through your Wi-Fi, go through your server. Okay, this is root. Do any password um, stuff I want to do with it. Never run anything on root. But since I don't really have, I don't even run my, I don't run projects on localhost. So that's when, but when you should consider all these things I'm telling you is when you're ready on production. So if your hosting provider give you a username of localhost, uh, uh, sorry of root, they hardly give you. Mostly they will give you. Um, your website name with some um, random character the truth. So this is my database name and by default your password for your server is nothing. That means anybody can access it already. Okay see you can put it for me like I said I don't do this double. Your password normally when you're hosting, when you're going to production, your hosting provider will give you a password. Now there's a there's a um, function called um, my SQLI connection. Um, this does the connection between PHP and MySQL, and they accept the following parameter. This is it. Host name, username, password, database, port and socket. This is um, like optional. So that's why I have three parameters here. Um, like I want to explain what this new does. Okay. So new, new is a keyword too. The PHP keyword, so you cannot just write um, new anyway. So new is to initialize an object. The way you have JavaScript objects, new is to initialize um, a PHP object, which accept these following parameters. So now. I name this connection con. You can name this anything you want. I remember in objects, you can access different uh, functions for objects. So I'm going to I name this variable an object. But why I did so is I don't want to. Anyway, I need this thing. I should come and start doing something like uh, my SQLI query. See, it's giving me all the different stuffs. But so instead I'm storing the object in a variable so that I can access it from anywhere and um, stop code repetition. Now I'm not checking if so okay. 
there's a um, you see a method. There's a kind of string, just like you have your bank details. Yes, it is. So there's connect error. So if there's connect error, this die stops all the scripts. It stops all the con not really all the scripts. It stops all the SK connection and shows the co that connection has filled and display the connect error. Are you getting this part? I'll explain it again. Now, I have my variable that stores my server information. My SQL is an object that accepts the following, following para parameter, which is hostname, username, password, and database. You can see database, password, username, and server name, which is hostname there. Now, I'm storing the object inside this variable so that I can access it from any file and reduce code repetition. <coughs> now, this is checking, like I did here, check connection. This is creating the connection. Now, this is checking if there's a value in connection error. Stop every SQL query. Stop any SQL function. Now, connection field and do this. Now, now to insert. Now, like I said, <coughs> so let me go back to this survey on PHP. Now, it's time to insert. Remember the slide. Um, Insert into table. Insert into table name, column one, column two, column three. Now I'm going to use this type of statement here. <clears throat> now you can generate your all this type of queries from your PHP admin. You can generate these queries. So instead of as long as you know the syntax and you know how it works. What you can do is come here, go to the SQL tab. Can you see it? Wow. Hope you can see it. Now, so, you go to this tab where you have SQL. All you do is press Ctrl A and press Insert. It generates your insert query for you. I've not even copied it. You go to your SQL tab. You clear whatever is here and press insert. We have insert, we have select, or we have select, we have update and delete, which is the basic, like I said, crude. Select is create, um, select and select or is reach, edit and delete. Now you can copy this. So now, I want to create a condition. It, gener it generated an SQL query to insert values into the database. No. So now I'm pretty remember I said the error counts. Remember. So now if um, error error count greater than zero. Echo you have an error. Else. 
So now I'm going to create. I'm going to create a. Uh, A string or a variable that stores my SQL query. So I'll, I'll come here and do SQL query. It's just a normal variable. It's not doing anything special. It's only storing the query, right? Are you getting what I'm saying here? I beg do that and then that small small. No, now I just pasted it. Let me let me um, toggle. Let me toggle this so that you can see all the query in one view. Now insert into contact form ID like that like that. Now we already have what we want to insert, right? So instead of value one to five. Our ID is generated for us. I have done that in the SQL when I was creating the SQL. So instead of writing a value for ID, I'll put null. Capital letter. Eh? That ID is is generated from the, yes. Um so we have full name. So and the full name variable is, was going to is going to be in a single quote. Now there's something I feel to ex explain. I'm going to do that now. Full name. Let me just finish this. Full name. Now you see it is in the same order. It starts into contact form, into columns, ID, full name, email, phone number, message, values of. So this null is for the the null for the ID. But the full name. You see this full name. This is what we are we have done since where I did that post. Who can remember? Yeah. So it's a variable. That stores my inputs. Now I'm passing it into this query. Now full name, email, phone, and message. So, like I said, this is just a string. You can even print it out, but don't print. Don't, don't go and print your SQL query out <laughs> before they start shouting "ark, ark, ark." So now this is just an SQL query that is a, in a string. Now, to convert this SQL query to an SQL code, so there's a, there's a function called um, you can, there are two ways to do it basically. Uh, my SQL I underscore query and you are passing two things your connection objects and the SQL query sorry your connection okay now it's not mostly going to connect to the database like this and it's going to be telling you when I bring the connection variable here it's going to be telling you Connection undefined. Should I run it or I should just explain it? So you have an error. 
phone number is not valid. I use plus one, two, three, four. And when I did everything, it exceeded, exceeded 11 characters. Just 11 characters. So, when I had plus one, two, three, four, so, let me just see. It's that thing. So, um, okay, so let's do it. Let's run. So, let, I don't want, we have started the error before. I don't want all this. I don't have time for all this. So let me just put. Ah. So I think I can remove that validation, right? Let me just remove the validation. Oh. Okay, yes. Please, please, please. This is undefined variable connection. My SQL. Express parameter wants to be an XQL line and null is given. Now, there's also a kind of function in, in PHP called um, include include ones require require ones. What does like just like include means just include this script into the script. So when you include, let me do it. So you see, include include ones. Um, let me see where it is. We can configure the page. So it's inside, inside the same folder. So inside, I don't config. So if I reload, I should see. Yes. So there's no error because I've included the config file. So indirectly. This include is if a function or what? Is a statement. Is replace is the same thing if I do it like this. So is it replace is a short form for writing that line of code in every single file when I need to use an SQL query. So instead of writing it in every file you want to use. You just do that include. Now, the difference between include and require. When you include, it's kind of optional. But when you do require, require. One more time, don't go. Wow. Two people can do it. Easy. You cannot talk for everyone. Okay, so. <laughs> See, include require no such file. But if I use um, require, I don't think it's run the paste script at all. You see, it's removed everything. So I'm going to use require because I need the database connection. 
without the, the config of page I cannot run any database query. So now, um, so I don't really like usually use this function. So I use instead I use con. That's the variable name, and I call a function in it. My SQL is it my SQL query? Okay, it's query. Now, this. That's what I did. I played the values with those variables. Now, now this see, 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 guys, guys. So once I do this, we should be able to do um, like I'll say do reach and select include. So you guys will do delete for yourself. It's the same thing, just different statements. So this returns a boolean value. Is that what they said here? Okay, yes, it returns a boolean value. Now, sometimes, so there, there was this situation where we were running um, the registration. So we sent emails and we're trying to insert the, into the database. So I think along the line, the email sent, but did not enter the database. Because maybe there was a kind of break in transmission or break in internet. So he first sent the email to the guy, but he not insert into our database. So now, it has a kind of case. We're supposed to use something like this. So if it has sent, and if it, the query of insert into table has performed. Sorry, if it has inserted into table, send a mail. So we, we just did it once, hoping that MTM will not of their generator. Okay, so um, now, like I said, it returns a brilliant stuff. So now I'm going to create an if statement again. Now, if else. <laughs> There's no way you know this if. If is basic. What? No, no, no. Yes, I'm creating two statements. Yes, yes. So you can nest conditions into conditions. Uh, I'll like this. Eh? Is that like. Nigerian don't like women leading. So let's say a, a woman is um, fills a form for presidential stuff like this. So I want to write the program. If she's above 18, if the person is above 18 and is a woman, put her for vice president. So I can actually use to like use if is woman or if um, is a woman and her age is above. 18. I can do it in one statement. I can also do it if it's above 18. Come on, create another if function. I'll be if statement and she's a woman. Send her like that. So that's what I'm doing. You can create nested conditions into conditions. I can create another condition into this one. It will not give me any error. So now if um, that means it's checking. So once this query is executed, it sends. So it, in the eyes of the uh, the program, this is covered, and what they are saying is true. What the server is saying is true. So if it is true, now I want to send a source message. So now let's use a little bit of Bootstrap. So let me look for Bootstrap alerts. Ah, okay, I can do it. So echo. Now, remember what I was saying. What you were asking. Well, was I using uh, HTML time in PHP? 
Now I want to use this is why I'm using HTML in PHP. Now I want to echo a bootstrap alert. So I create a div. Wow. <laughs> it closed it automatically. So div sources. Um sources we have received your message. Yeah. Yes. You see how how I like explaining the website like a human being. The HTML is the bone. The CSS is your flesh. The JavaScript is can you walk? Can you sit? The PHP are those nerves that send to your why the SQL is your brain. That's the way I, I explain websites. You can always see even in the HTML you have edge, you have body. When you remove the edge, you are taking the the description of the person. If I show you only my body, can you know ah this is Mr. Jeremiah? So that's why you have to tie today. <laughs> okay, so we have received your message. Let me add a class equal to um, a lot. Oh, thank God I'm receiving this error. I was going to say something about double quotes and single quotes. You cannot use a double quote inside. A double quote. I don't know if you are getting me. So now I want to write this alert. Alert is supposed to be like an HTML value for the class, but I'm using a single quote. That means you see this single quote as a variable. Oh my, oh my ergo, but I don't have any variable called a lot. So, what I want to do is a string, and I remove this so I can write whatever I want to write there a lot, a lot sources. So, once the query come up or the query has been executed. You will see this will reload and show you this. So else that means false because Boolean values is either true or false. So else danger. What am I writing as out? There's a, if there's a, an error, I'll see that wavy line under. That's how I got to know that I use a double quote inside a double quote. Error. So, error. Something went wrong. This. No, it's just CSS classes from Bootstrap. Um, please try again. So our form is good to go. Oh. So let me refresh. So let's see if it's really inserted. So yeah, now we can insert with those little bit little commands. So instead. Okay, let me just put the container here. Open. I don't want to see this. 
So you can put any HTML you want. So let me just let's submit. Now give me value. What should I put? So that you know me as if I've, I I traveled through space and I started it. So um what should I put here? John Legend. I'll be using my name too much. Legend. Um new John Legend Bookings. at mail.com uh, okay okay it's work it's work Abby? let me try again hello jerry I have seen your form. To be on the safe side, let me just. Okay, I've removed the validation. I've removed the validation, sir. So. Well, let me see be on the safe side. I received your message. There's no error there. An error. See, John Legend contacted you. Oh boy. Okay, no, let's go. Okay. No, you can export it. No, I'll see good here. You can export and import. Ah, now we see our John Legend. Now, what I want to do now? So, um, let me remove the validation for required. So, it will. Tell me an error that this field is required. Now with the SQL itself, there are a lot of validations going on. Like there's still front end, there's still page validation. And those SQL not known, not null, and the data type is the kind of validation on its own. So now remember I now put one not one on the phone number column. But now I want to insert a uh, a null value into the the phone column. So the SQL itself will throw an error. Ooh. How will I get the SQL error? Ah, but what is the object? Okay, let's let's see. But else to still show what the predefined error I gave it. So phone. Let me comment this out. And let me put a little bit of empty. It's, it's a full name. So everything is like a text. So it's even it's you that know that whether it's one name that is there. The computer does not know. You know, this one I've done it that it's a show as normal text, not bootstrap bootstrap alert. So let me put a little bit of empty to two. So let me load again. So full name. Ah, uh, error. Actually, inserted. That means no. Let me go to my structure and see if I know that's my PHP PHP um, stuff validation. So SQL is supposed to throw an error for me that. But let me show you how it works from here. So let me go to insert. Number one. No, no. I can leave this small. 
Legends of War, the only video you've done. Wow. Or Juju. Wow. So email, I can leave it at null. Ah. I'm not giving. I'm not giving me error. So it's from the SQ. It's from the SQ. But now I, I can go with also this. I don't know what's wrong with my server or something. But on a normal basis, it's supposed to be SQL. So, okay, let's make um, email or message unique. So, so if I come here and do change, sorry, or more. And I make message unique. That means, can't I do this? And I make phone number unique. You see, you see already. SQL itself is showing me an error. This should not PHP. SQL itself is showing me an error that I have a duplicate entry of this. Do you all get? Now let me do the updates. Ah, how many rings? Can we do updates? No, actually, like this, like I said, this generates. Okay, now SQL. Like I said, go to SQL. No need to like crack your mind. Wow. Uh, so generate an update. You can update to changes now. Like now you register for YPF. Let's say the spelling of your name is not correct. So is this statement you you will use to update it? Instead of deleting it and inserting it again. Do you get Yes, it creates the update query. I said you register for SAP. Your spelling name was not correct. So your developer will create the form for updates. Do you get? So you create the. Yes, so you update it by yourself. Um, uh, okay, let me, so let's create another update form. No, instead of doing that, let me select all first. Because I'll actually send out now use the get method. I'll be doing post post since. So now let me use get. Let me use get. So um ah yeah. So let me just create a table, a normal default table. I'm not using Bootstrap. Um, control N. So let's call it table dot PHP. Table dot PHP. Um. Oh. So I'm looking for that bootstrap table stuff. So I don't want to create the table from scratch. Sorry, this. 
Don't worry about this. Okay, where's the table? What's on this one now? Copy. Okay, we have our table. Ah. No, the Java seems to go. Push up is just front end now. No, no. I downloaded like I cloned it with one up like that. F4. So let me do my HTML5. Call it table. And link my CSS. Link my CSS so, slash styles. Push up that means just CSS. So now you see how we apply apply um, loops SQL and PHP in this part. So we have tables. Is there any tables or table? Okay. So let me put it in the container. Control is div div dot container um empty four margin top of four okay so we have this so we have name forget it this is just it you just it, it, no, this is bootstrap. I copied it from the bootstrap documentation. So now I want to edit it. Now we have our uh, full name. Full name. Email. Yes. Phone. And we have message. Right. Let me delete, delete all this because I'm only going to use one of these. Okay, now select statements. Now, the same way we did this survey, almost the same way. Oh, uh, ah, not really, not really, not really. So, um, select, 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 select query. So, let me create my select all query first. If I was not worrying about that, select all from contact form. So, now, should I let me reduce this so that I will explain something? This is our, let's say, this is our outcoded values. Now, I want to retrieve it from the database. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to loop this, this line. The loop is creating something like this. I'm putting the values of what I want. Um... So let me do. So you can also do a PHP script inside an HTML. Like, okay, let me just do it. Um, like this. Yeah. No. 
Um, so hold on. Okay, so hold on. Now, you remember, I said while loop is while loop will do will loop as long as the condition is true. So, if I remove this if statement. Oh, who cannot see? Okay, so, sorry, I'm just trying to format this. Now, see, now notice I've created a query. Uh, Um, contact form, that's the name of the table. Index is equal to zero. So, index is like the amount of loop, the amount of time that's the loop. If I use ID now, you know, ID is like the number in the table. But when you delete a value from the table, when you now start using ID to do your serial number, it will be messed up. Maybe you have deleted from table row 500 to 600. You will now have like 499. The next number will be 700. So now, what I'm doing here is uh, select all from contact form. All. All the values, all the data in contact form. Select it. Then I'm creating this index variable. So, results. I'm storing the query here. I, I used this query before. So, um, row. Now, this row is assigned. You can assign it to anything. You can do um, data. But you can only use it in the while loop. Are you getting what I'm saying? Whatever variable you're assigning it, yeah, you can only use it in the while loop. So, row. This results. The results is an object already. So, fetch associated data. You can see the definition from here. Um, come on, come on. So, okay, it's not defining it. So, for every loop, add index plus equal to 1. What I did earlier. Index equal to index plus 1. So, this is the short form. Now, I need to close my while loop. Or less. Okay, it's even giving me an error already. So TR, I create my PHP tag here. What's happening now? Okay. And you see to loop um, how many times? You should loop five times. Okay. Yes. So I do not connect. Like I said, you must connect to your database before you run any query. Five times. It's still the values, the default values I copy from that table. So now, index. Sorry, I can't do this. So what I have to do is I create another PHP tag. And echo whatever I want to do.
one, two, three, four, five. So even if I draw ID, you know, so to now to bring out the row values, we will do something like let me copy this. So, so um, now, yes, so assess it. It's just like assessing something like uh, arrays. So, you do a row, the name of the role in the database. Please listen. This variable is very storing the associated data. Now you can index it by saying row full name full name email phone message I see now. So why this is not showing because they are null. So you can also add an if condition that if this uh, if this has a string length of zero, instead of leaving it empty, you uh, you you echo null. Okay, now now let's use some get get. So now let me create an action button. Action button is. It's just a button that performs an action. Yes. So I'll create another call, call it action. So I want to view the details. I want to select one uh, one value, one data from the, the row. Now you remember when I was talking about primary key indexing. G1 um, and all, everything. So let me create the button right here. I'll cut to this because I'm still going to use. So I create the, an A tag, a link, a ref, and let's do um, single data dot PHP. Now, if you pay attention and you look closely, closely, when I did that get um, request before, when I submitted the form using the get method, you will see a question mark. The end of your notice it. You not notice it. So you will see, or you would have seen a question mark here. I remember I said those are query strings, like name query. Now I'm, I want to query the database. Bring this ID. Bring all the data with this ID. So I'm going to do something like ID equal to one. But I'm not going to type. I don't have to type it on the URL. So this link is going to do that. So ID is equal to row and ID. I make my class of class. Um, btn btn sm btn to primary and i say yeah view so you see this now you can see but well, have i created that Pass. That's why I show me this. So, yes. Question mark ID is equal to one. Now, how do we get that ID? We are sending a get request now. We are using the get method. So now, I'm going to create a single data.php file.
ID, uh, sorry, single data. Who is lost? Hey, I allow me to be going like that. <laughs> okay, okay. So let me just this is the last thing. Then I will explain how to do update and delete. Because if I don't do this type of stuff, you might not get how to do update and delete. Um single data.php. So I'll copy the form that is there. So now we know generally that the browser does it gets request by default. Yes or no? Yes or no? I did not mention that. By default, the browser browser uses a uh, default get request. That's why in the form you have to specify posts. Now, so we don't even have to use if request if server request method is equal to get. Because by default, it's always get. So, um, now, remember I said clauses. Where close. Now, select all from, contacts from, where, so let me create an ID variable. Is equal to underscore get. ID where so assuming I have named my table where this is what the database will be using. If you should be looking for where. So where is a clause and you don't just use it to name your table anyhow. Where ID is equal to dollar id now the only difference between what i did before is the work loss and i'm getting the query string of id Are you seeing? This is our ID one. So what that statement is looking for? Select all columns where this ID is equal to one. I did. That what I was saying about gets. This is the ID here. There is. There is. No. 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 I am getting that one from here. Are you seeing this? What am I liking? Are you seeing this? So let me go back again. So you can use query string to pass data from one page to another. Some people have gone blank. <laughs> I don't know if I'm recording it again. <laughs> so okay, so now we can we can click on any of this view and we'll see all any of this data. So view see number one. So let me click on number three because number three name is different. View will see John Legend. Are you seeing it now? Yes. So, you don't even have to click on the view. So, you can actually come here and do it. 
because this is where I'm getting the data from. This query string. So you see changes. So what that is doing is giving me a link. So if you look closely, oh, I can't see it from here. See, it's just a link. Because I have looked through everything, I am generating the link for that. And which is what I'm doing here. Single data question mark ID is equal to echo row ID. So as I'm as I'm looping, it's generating a link for it. If I click the number six, it is still okay. Okay, we did we did um let's do survey. Um, John Gillian, um, John at mail.com, phone, hello Jerry, Okay, so since we have received your message, now we can also redirect. Ah, yeah. So, but don't just redirect anyhow. So I just want to use this opportunity to show you the redirect function. So I want to redirect immediately as I've submitted redirect to that page to see all the data. So ah, let me remember this. Is it data location? Okay, you want to see our that's the Google. Wow. <laughs> and you see here, yeah, ID is equal to six. But when I do view, John Billion, John at me just come. So I should even remove this stuff, this action. So, okay, you know what? With this, I can still even create delete because I'm just copying and pasting one code. But you are going to do it. So let me explain the delete. So it's the same thing. All you have to do is to, to change the query. No, you can create something like this. Copy it. Call it delete. Delete. Yeah. Then change. Then change the query. So now let me show you. Let me explain how the delete query works. SQL. So if we are going to have a class tomorrow, if Capital if. <laughs> so, some of you guys are submitting this assignment tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So let me now explain the update and delete. Guys, guys, guys. So delete. Delete from contact form where you can do where full name is equal to blah 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 or where ID is equal to I want to delete the sixth the sixth uh, row are we the sixth data so that's how it works. Do you really want to execute this? Okay. So I've deleted it. When you go, no, let me go here. You see, the sixth one I created deleted. So I'm going to put this query. Query. 
Dot.txt Ah yes Yeah, it's, I'm giving int So you guys will do it later So six ID now let me explain updates. So you can this is for the this is how you write it to your PHP. So you replace what I have there. Select all from yeah, just a change the query. So you you there's also I'll send I'll send everything. I'll send um there's also update query. Now but the update query is somehow Can I do that? I don't know. Now, this is how the update query works. Let me make it one line. It's not still going to one line. So, eh? so update content form, set ID. So, you are not setting the ID, you don't want to change the ID. Please, never change your IDs. Never update your IDs. When you are... Who eh? I pray, because it's long since I use the software. Never update your IDs. Please. It's just like, now we update your magic number. You are not like, ah, why are we... Is don't never obey it. Just, just what I want to say. So, full name. You change this value to whatever you want. Just like I did. You can put a variable there. So, to so update contact form, set full name to value two. Email to value three. Phone to value four. Message to value five. Where this is where your where clause comes in. Where ID is equal to ID. Value six. So let me let me replace these values, like I'll put a more generic data here. So you will see this up part, this delete. If you run it, your SQL will work. And this is how it will be in your contact form. That's the way I'm doing it. So I've done the syntax here. So let me just do. So, who does not understand how to do queries, perform queries? The one I did before. You will not know if that recording has glitch. But nonetheless, I will still. I also drop an article and Okay, like, is it like every time somebody submits a form, you send an email to yourself or you send the request, the data to yourself? That's it. That's another topic in that.
But it's just a function. I don't have time to start setting up email server. Ah. No, I see. <laughs> okay, just let me tell you what you do. Just Google PHP mail. I also say mail is PHP. No, no, no. So you can actually send the mail and insert into your database. Two things. You can actually send only your mail. Send only to database. So just Google how to send mail to PHP. You get out to receive notifications. So message. So I've I like take the queries you be using. So it's a little bit of it. And I'll drop I'll drop an article and probably a video of how to like how to do a crude operation that's great read of data and delete. Okay. So any other thing? Any other thing? Ah. Um, um. I'll show you these videos for you guys. You are going to create it, but for sure. <laughs> so now, um, let people make it more. And you. Hello. So, um, who has started the uh, project? Oshie. Oshie. So, um, just a few words. This is the last class here. We are close to We are not close. We are literally limited to how much you want to know by yourself. Like, your, your only limit is how much you want to learn. The, if I expect you to get everything in five days, then we are not even supposed to be sitting here. Right? So, you definitely cannot get everything in five days. But well, basically, what we are trying to do is to open your mind to see how it works. And if you know how it works, then um, understanding what is doing will be easier if you see it somewhere else, right? Are we together? So, we would um, continue the class online. We have not have fixed the date yet. So, we will fix the date in, uh, communicate to you guys and see how much you can push you from where we stop to where we are supposed to stop or where we are going to but don't be limited to what he says and what I say go online I can I can give you my Udemy password it has tons of courses that you can pay <laughs> yes I can drop it I don't think Udemy has any issue with having multiple device signed in. So, so you can take as much as you know. A lot of courses are there. So, you can also go to my YouTube channel. Yes, he dropped a YouTube channel also. There are also courses on it. Uh, from next week, like, I'm I, yeah, I'm sending the link again. <laughs> Subscribe on Subscribe and press notification bell or less. Ma? Yes. Yes. Please come with your laptop tomorrow, then it's class. So is that tomorrow? When when did you see like right? let's say big closing? Tomorrow we'll do how to update. I'm sorry, how to push to an online server. Yes. 
So, who has learned something in this class? Who, who feels okay? Who has not learned anything? Who feels that you have wasted five years? Hey, Governor, you are included in, in this question. In fact, it's you and Peter Pat because they are just carrying your side, carrying your side. Okay. Yeah, come on, 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 come So, we, I believe, uh, in the next two weeks, our portfolio should be ready. If you are putting the work to it, like I said, your strength is in how much you can do. <laughs> That should be the middle strength. The, what we are teaching you here is to know what you have even Googling and understand that, okay, how to create, how to do a delete. Let me Google something. And when you see delete, sometimes if you don't know what you are looking for, you even pass the solution and you go and carry error. <laughs> so, basically, you need to know how to look for what you are looking for. Let me give you another. I, I've given you a lot of S code, so let me give you another one. If you want to create two columns in with Bootstrap, just Google Bootstrap two column. It will come out. Take a two. You are not writing a, You are not writing a unique code. Believe me, yes. there is no error you see that you have not that has not happened before. There's no um, there's no mistake, there's no type of code you want to write that someone has not written before. Even Elon Musk don't we use open source. So there's nothing new. Just um, put your mind to it basically. With these few points of mine, I hope I'm able to <laughs> So, if you enjoyed the class, give us a round of applause. Thank you, thank you very much. So, uh, we always reach a good job and make sure challenge.